Card Pack. Today we're going to be going over the top 10 basketball cards that went up the most over the last week. So there's some uh, there's been some change around since last week, and you'll definitely want to see what we found. I want to remind you I'm doing this giveaway. I'm going to be picking a winner here in a couple days. On February 7th, I'm going to pick the winner for the NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. To enter, you need to follow on YouTube, leave a comment on YouTube, and follow me on Instagram and either Twitter or TikTok. I hope that makes sense. Every video you leave a comment on, as long as you meet the other qualifications, is another entry for you. You know, So if you leave 10 comments on this video, it's still only one entry. But if you leave a comment on yesterday's video, today's video, tomorrow's video, that's three entries. So go ahead and uh, get in on that if you want one of these packs, if you want a chance at one of these packs anyways. I uh, also want to remind you I have a sports card society where almost every day I send out an exclusive sports card investment video of an opportunity that I found that I think is really good and I lay out all my research as to why. For instance, uh, back in early January, just you know, a month ago, I was recommending this 2008 Tops, this one, PSA 9 LeBron James. We were getting it for around 150 bucks just at the beginning of January. And today, uh, she's going for about 550 in a month, so that's pretty good. How about uh, this Kobe PSA 9 Z Force 96 rookie? We we're getting it for around 150, 160 bucks. That baby's going for around 400 bucks now. Uh, that's pretty decent, wouldn't you say? And then uh, we were getting this Tatis for around 65, 70 bucks back in November, December. Today she going for uh, around 180 bucks. So you know a lot of good stuff to be had there. Plus members get discount PSA grading. They get 20 day PSA grading for just 25 dollars. If you go on the PSA website, they have 25 day grading for 50 dollars. So a uh, little bit of value there. And then we have a private Discord group with some real sports card investors in it and it's really active and they are talking amongst each other and I'm in there too and there's it's just a really good community of sharing all kinds of ideas and findings and it's it's worth the membership price alone and I'm going to be raising the price on the membership right now it's only 9.99 a month or $99 a year but I'm going to be raising that price pretty soon I haven't picked a day yet but it's going to be going up um, pretty soon because I want to add more value in there and it's just it's just underpriced for all the value that it is already so I'm going to be raising that up. Uh, so get in. You can lock in that price if you get in there now. Link's in the description, sportscardsociety.com. Here we go with the content. Please give this video a like card pack. Here we go, boys and gals. Number one on the list. I'm in the market movers tool here. I pulled up basketball in the grade PSA 10 over the last seven days. LeBron James 2016 Optic Base PSA 10 is the number one highest gain card on the week. That's an interesting one, right? 2016, not exactly his rookie year. Uh, he did win a championship that year with the Cavs. And let's pull up his chart. That one was really interesting to me for it to be topping the chart like this. It is also the first year of Optic. I think that that definitely plays a role in this. So this is LeBron James' first optic card. This is everybody's first optic card if they had an optic card in 2016 because it was the first year optic came out. At the beginning of the week, it was 233 bucks, and now 447 bucks. Pretty low pop count. If you don't know what pop count is, that means the number of cards in existence. So the LeBron James 2016 optic base in the grade, PSA 10, there are only 677 in existence currently. Interesting. So that went up, how much is that? Boy, 91%. Uh, 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 uh. And, and uh, these cards that you see on here, I will leave a link to uh, their eBay link in the description for you to go to because see when I click this link right here, you'll see this really nice refined search that comes up and it cuts out all the fluff and just gives you the real card. So I'll leave links to all these cards in the description. Interesting. I mean, this thing's just been on a rocket. Maybe we pull it back. Let's pull it back to the beginning of January and see what it looked like. Come on. Come on now. Here we go. Nope. Come on. I keep clicking the wrong buttons. I apologize, card pack. Here we go. There we go. Got it right. Ding, ding, ding. Beginning of January, this card was 140. Damn. 218% in a month. <sighs> what a crappy return, huh? Crappy, crappy return. Wow. Boy, it really didn't start going up till, what was it? 140. 
it really it really started to check mark about here at the end of the month because LeBron James stuff been going up and and that's typically what happens is his biggest card will go up first so typically I'd say his tops chrome rookie leads the way for his cards unless of course he has some big monster sale you know like when he had that 1.8 million dollar uh, sale of his rookie of one of his rookie cards and what was it it was uh shit I think it was only out of 25 what was it it's escaping my head right now it was either flawless or impeccable or exquisite or something like that but typically those don't go for sale those don't sell very often but the tops chrome is more there's more sales of it because there's like 2,000 of them so typically that'll lead the way and that thing's been going through the roof I think it's close to 40 grand right now and then after that starts going up the ones below it and the ones below it, it's like a pyramid like that one's at the top and then the ones below it and it and blow and blow and blow and blow and blow. And this one is certainly not near the top. But it's down here and people are looking for reasons. They want LeBron James. They're like, damn, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. I can't afford that. What can I afford that has some relevance? Well, this is LeBron James' first year optic. This is the first year optic ever came out, which is a major product in the, in the game. And also, this is the year he won the championship with the Cavs. So there's some relevance to this. I think that's why this thing went up. And those are the types of things that I think of and look at when I'm trying to get ahead of the market and getting cards. So like, if I, if I were to pull this one up and say, you know what, this card hasn't moved yet, but a lot of other LeBron James cards are going up, uh, I look at the chart and I go, you know what, this thing is bound for to get on a bit of a rocket because it's got relevance to it. It's got a low pop count. It's got first year optic. It's a year he won a finals with the Cavs. And like, that's something I would put in a sports card society video. Because that would that's the kind of thinking that I look for, that I that I do to project and get ahead of the market. Because 95% of people in the sports car game are just doing what everyone else is doing. Whether they know it or will admit it or not. It's the way you really win in this game is you get ahead of the market. You don't gotta be way ahead of the market. You just gotta be at least a step ahead. Like Wayne Gretzky, one of his famous quotes was, you know, he doesn't play to where he goes I don't play to where the puck is I play to where it's gonna be and that worked out pretty well for him and I think that works well in a lot of aspects of life so again you know sports card society there's a plug go join before I raise the price all right next card Michael Jordan makes sense he'd be on here 91 upper deck I think the same reasoning with this card just everything Michael is going up and as we go down the pyramid at the top of the pyramid is obviously the 86 Fleer PSA 10 rookie and that thing set a new freaking record oh my god 738,000 Jesus F and Christ holy moly how many more Scottish accents can I do that's probably about all I got wait is a baby I want my baby back baby back baby back Austin Powers shout out if you've never seen Austin Powers you got to watch Austin Powers fantastically uh, hilarious 91 upper deck so I think this is just further down the pyramid and people are saying what the hell can I still get of Michael Jordan 91 upper deck how about that let's take a look see at this cardsy actually this was on the list last week this is his baseball card so this is still going up let's take a look let's go back to the beginning of the month Whew. Start of the month, 362, had a high sale of almost 2G, going for 15, 1.5 G, 360 bucks to 1.5 Jizzy. Jeezy? Yeah. Jizzy's probably not a good thing to say. Jeezy? There we go. Do you buy this one? It is on a bit of a dip. Although this sale here concerns me. This is a legit sale, I'm sure of it, but this one might be a, I don't know, that's crazy. Pop count's not real high, 1339. For This is certainly, when people think of Michael Jordan's baseball cards, this is the Michael Jordan baseball card. This is the Michael Jordan baseball card. He has a few, but I, I think this is the, the Michael Jordan baseball card. Are there any for sale on eBay? 1999. Oh, there's some good auctions going on. I mean, buy it nows that are how many listed 21 I think the buy it nows are a little high I'd get in on an auction and see what you can do looks like where's oh shit oh that's not graded looks like looks like there's some coming up I would get in on these auctions if I were to buy one 
to number three, Nasir Little. 2019 Prism Silver, PSA 10. Let's pull up his chart. Why did Nasir Little go up so much this week? Something must have happened that I am not aware of. Leave a comment below of why Nasir Little went up this week. This is Silver. He was at 97, up to 175. That's all I'm going to do on Nasir Little. I'm not sure why he went up this week. Number four, Shaquille O'Neal, 92 tops gold. This is a pretty rare card in the grade PSA 10. So I think it's numbered to like 500 or something like that. Let's take a look. I swear it's numbered. Aren't you numbered? Maybe it's not numbered, but it is a very low population. It's 450. So it's that's what it is. Let's pull up his 92 tops to compare how many there are. 92 tops... We'll choose the base and the gold. Don't be sleeping on these subtle parallels like this. So his top's base, 917 to 1106 this week. And his, but his gold really took off. Interesting on the, you know, that's not really that many, 2037. So this card's only went up 20% and the gold's went up 81%. Boy. That top space might be a buy because, I mean, it should go up as much as the gold. Like tw It's only going up 20% and the gold's going up 80%. Again, we talk about that. I'm talking about that pyramid effect. The top's gold is higher up in the pyramid and the top's base is lower in the pyramid. So I see this top's base is going up pretty soon. Uh, that might be a pretty good buy. Right? It's only went up 20% this week. So it's already going up. Let's go back to the beginning of... January. It was at 375 on top of the base at the beginning of January, and now it's 1106. You'd be happy if you had that card. 2000 at the beginning of January, up to 8000. So again, that card's just been going up. It's went up over 300%, and the tops has gone up 200%. And you can see the check mark the tops gold starting to do I would anticipate again this is all just my opinion you make your own decisions um, I could anticipate I could see this base PSA 10 doing a bit of a check mark too from its price point following this that's interesting jeez buddy alright I'll leave a link to again this, there'll be a link for these in the description um, number what number are we at one, two, three, four, number five, LeBron. I got to sneeze, folks. I think. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Might as well get some coffee while I'm chilling. LeBron James 2003 Fleer Base. So we, we had a Rook. Let's pull up that chart. I want my baby buck, baby buck, baby buck. LeBron James. Look at this. Again, this isn't at the top of the pyramid, but it's in the pyramid. 2090 to start the week and then boom boom 3385 pretty low pop 554 wow that's pretty low pop that really is Let's see what that was at the beginning of the month it just it makes you cringe a bit to go back like this because you, you you just want to go and slap yourself on the head you're like LeBron James duh why didn't I buy more LeBron James duh I need a drink. Fifteen fifty. But Matt, it's not even. It's only after barely afternoon. It's Friday. Whatever. Nah, I don't really drink that much. Fifteen fifty to start the month. And now what do I say? It is. Goodness gracious. Thirty three eighty five. Huh. Actually, there may still be. Uh, geez, there may still be some room in here because it really just started. It's ascent. Ascent, ascent. Like you know, sure it was up fifty percent as of like a few days ago. But then, boom, it like doubled. Not doubled, but doubled its percent from where it started the month. So I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Also, as a matter of fact, I'll give you a little extra here. Let's look at his PSA 9. I wonder what the pop count is on it, and I wonder what its trajectory has been. Ooh. It's went up 70%. And it's starting to go up a bit. 
Hmm, what's that? What's the pop count of it? 513, also pretty low. 4.15. Both of them could be good buys. I'll, I'll leave links to both in the description. Actually, let's pull up let's pull up his PSA 10 on eBay real quick. 550. What do we say it was selling for? 3385 was the last sale. 550. Is it? Oh, there's some auctions going on. Oh, but this one's already bid up to 40. Okay, so this one's definitely on the rise. Wow. Two days left and it's already bid up to about 4,500. So maybe that's six grand. Isn't that on the line? Hmm? Oh, it's not. It's like, what? Hmm, interesting. Let's pull up the PSA 9. See if what those are going for. No. What did I say it should be going for? 880, so it might be going for around a G. It's nine of them. Some auctions going on. 1500. Yeah, that may not be so bad. Given the, because it looks to me like, I mean, this is what we're looking at here. The sale was, because you see how fast these are going up, right? From, from one day to another day. That maybe, hmm, maybe five, maybe five G for the 10 isn't that out of line. Depends if you want to spend that. And then I'd say a G that 1500 might be in line for the nine. This is just, Crazy. I'll leave links for those. You make your own decisions if you want one. Um, next guy, next card, Tim Duncan. Makes sense. He's a legend. Legend. 1997 Top Space PSA 10. That'll be his rookie. Oh, what's Tim got? Has he got two, maybe three rings? 687. Pretty low pop count. That looks like a, Where are they playing? There is not, where are they playing? That is a small, there are not many seats. Started the week at 792. Went up to 1249. Let's pull it back to the beginning of the month. Five seventy-five. So it's really just started taking off. So it's went up a total of 117% since the beginning of January. Just got it for 792 last week. Now she's up to 1249. Goodness. Tim Duncan, I mean, he's a legend. Totally a legend. Absolutely. Hall of Famer, all that stuff. Got rings. Pretty low pop count, 687. I like that. I love when you, I don't know. I just love finding cards like this that have a guy like this with that low of pop count. And then it's got tops. So that's, yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right, next. David Robinson, 89 hoops, base number 310. I believe he's really got two major hoops rookie cards. One of them is way more valuable than the other. I may pull that one up on this chart too just for the heck of it. 160 to 250 this week. 1183 being the pop count. Let's see. What's his other base in the hoops? 138. I think 138 is the more valuable of the two. Again, if you like this Market Movers tool, the link is in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. 695, so it's got about half as many of these. And then again, it's up here worth about four times as much. Oh, that one hasn't really gone up this week. Interesting. I mean, there haven't been many sales of it. That's interesting. So, interesting, what are we at here? It's about a, about a four and a half ratio, then about a four ratio. Hmm. Interesting. On to the next. Shaq. You're noticing a lot of a lot of legends on here. The only guy that isn't is Nasir Little, right? Haven't seen any Kobe yet, though. Shaq, 92 hoops, PSA 10. Let's pull it up. Only going for 437. That seems low to me for a Shaq. Wonder what the pop count is. 1207. Not a real bad pop count. 347. Start of the week at 220. Now it's gone up to 347. Let's go to eBay real quick and see what we find. 469, 395. What do we say that sales? 347, okay. 395 or best offer. 399 or best offer. 39. Okay. Some good ones here. Some auctions going on. 
500, 425, 375 a best offer. Okay. Interesting. And some raws on there. Again, I'll leave a link with this refined search in the description. Go Shaq. Now let's look at, is this the last one? Nope, one more. Another LeBron, 04, tops base. This is a second year card for him. Woo, PSA 10 going for 1561. Let's see where it started the week. Let me get some coffee. Eight sixty-five to start the week, and now up eighty-four percent to fifteen ninety-three. LeBron James second year tops base. Whoa, that's pretty low pop. One eighty-five. Because again, going down the pyramid. First year rookie cards, there's out of price for a lot of people, and they're like, "Well, where can I find better value?" And they're like, "Well, let's go to second year card." Let's find one with a low pop count. They said, oh, only 185 in the PSA 10? All right, I'm going to buy. And then that's what's been going on. Let's see where it was at the beginning of the month. This one, I'm guessing this one was maybe under 500. No, nope, just under 600. 597 up to, boy, 15, 167%. That is, that is fantastic. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'll leave a link to that one in the, in the uh, show notes, the description. I think this is the last one. MJ, yep. MJ, 1989 Hoops All-Star. I believe this was on the chart last week in the PSA 10, only for 380 So this is a card that people can, a lot of people can still, like, afford to put their money into. Not the lowest pop count, but not the highest either, 2105. Not a terribly high pop count, but not terribly low either. Started the week at 275 It's worked its way all up to 390 Let's go back to... Let's go back to last week, because I'm pretty sure this card was on the chart last week. Yeah, 140. Goodness. Could have got it for 140 in the PSA 10. And now, she's at 390. When The big question is, when will this stuff stop going up? When will it go down some, or at least flatten out? I don't know, frankly. But the thing with these legends, I just... Like, they're legends. Like, this, these cards are going up. What are we at? 100 to start the month, and then we're at about 400. The thing with these legends is, like, they just... Over time, history has shown us that they seem to just overall go up. I mean, this... Eventually, I think there will be some kind of dip here. But again, when I buy these cards, like I don't really buy cards very often for quick flips. I just don't because there's just so much risk associated with quick flips. I, I believe, you know, if you want to, if you have some, make some money on something, and you want to cash out, cash out. But going in for quick flips, that's just not my game. I like to buy players I believe in or players that have done it because I feel their probability of going up over time beyond where I bought them, and then beyond that is much higher. The probability is much higher, is, is in my opinion. Um, that's just my game, I guess. So that's that MJ. Let's go over the list again real quick. Please just, please give this video a like if you've enjoyed this content. Uh, it's, it's sh blah, 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 blah. It t uh, the analytics on YouTube show me that when I do the basketball ones, those seem to be your favorite. Uh, but I don't know. Leave, leave a comment below. Let me know. And please give this video a like. Uh, LeBron. Michael. Nasir Little. Again, why is he on here? Let me. Someone leave me, let me know why the hell his cards went up. Shaq, LeBron, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Shaq, LeBron, Michael. <laughs> so, legends. Two active players because LeBron's still playing. So he had one, two, three on here. And is it possible that LeBron James has got has gotten even better seriously at like 37 or whatever is it possible that this is the best LeBron we've seen so far that he's gotten even better I think so I I really do it's mind-blowing he him and he's you know I used to people used to ask me who's a who do you think is the best best player time no question it was Michael Jordan to me now it's a question to me now I'm like I don't know I I don't know. If LeBron wins another championship this year, I think they're 1A, 1B to me. I, I don't know. 
I mean, I'm already like, I don't know. Like, LeBron has really impressed the shit out of me this year. Whew. And that's saying a lot. But anyways, here's the list. All the links in the description. If you want to enter the Prism giveaway, you know the deal. Follow, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, follow on Instagram and Twitter or TikTok. Uh, you want to join the site before the price goes up and get all that value and those exclusive videos and discount PSA grading and access to a private Discord group. That link is in the description, sportscardsociety.com. And if you like this market movers tool, there's a whole hell of a lot more that it does than what I just showed you. Uh, most important thing I use in sports card investing, no doubt about it. It makes me a lot of money. It saves me from making a lot of mistakes and helps me find a lot of good opportunities. That link for the Market Movers tool is in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. By the way, if you didn't see the video yesterday, Card Pack, I love you. You put, you put this channel over 1,000 subscribers. I can't say thank you enough. You are so awesome. Happy investing. I hope you make crap loads of money. I'll leave the links for all these cards in the uh, description. Stay classy. Enjoy the Super Bowl. I'll have another video for you tomorrow. I'll have a video for you on the Super Bowl Sunday. But you know what? I want you to know enjoy this. Maybe you won't see those. Enjoy the Super Bowl. It's going to be a really good one. You are so awesome. Stay classy. Love you.